Hi, I'm Mark Donovan from HomeEditionPlus.com. And today I'm going to show you a tip on how you can save up to a third on your home heating energy bills. What I'm going to do today is replace your traditional old thermostat with a programmable thermostat as I have here. This particular model allows me to program for weekdays and weekends um, and up to four different periods per day. By using a programmable thermostat over the traditional thermostat, I can save approximately a third on my home heating bills. The particular thermostat I'm replacing today is a low voltage thermostat. However, that said, I'm still going to power off the circuit breaker associated with the oil burner system and this uh, low voltage circuitry just to make sure that there's no risk of any type of shock. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the cover plate of the existing thermostat and then remove the mounting screws that hold the back the cover plate onto the wall. Once we remove the base plate off the wall, I want to use a pencil to wrap around the wires to make sure that we don't have any situation where those wires will slide back into this hole. So now that we have the wire wrapped around the pencil, we can now remove the wires themselves from the base plate. Now with the new programmable thermostat, we remove the cover plate, and then in this particular model we remove a screw that holds the programmable portion to the uh, back plate that will mount to the wall. I mount the new wall plate for the programmable thermostat onto this wall. I'm going to use a little masking tape to wrap around this wire to ensure that it doesn't fall through the wall. And now I'm going to remove the pencil. Next I'm going to slide the wires to the back mounting plate and locate the mounting plate roughly in the position I want to have it on the wall. Now that I've positioned the mounting plate to the location I want on the wall, I'm going to pre-drill some holes for the um, anchors that are going to hold the screws into the drywall. Now I'm just attaching the screws to the mounting plate and the drywall to hold the mounting plate in place. Next we're going to wire the wires coming from the uh, wall into the uh, programmable thermostat uh, back cover plate. Uh, this is a two wire configuration. There's three wire and four wire, even five wire configurations. So depending upon your particular heating or cooling system and programmable thermostat, you may have to wire uh, differently. In my case, it's going to be a white wire into um, a white nut and the red wire into the red heating uh, nut. Next, we need to install two AA batteries into the programmable thermostat itself making sure we put them in with the right polarity. And now that we have the batteries installed, we can now mount the programmable thermostat to the back mounting plate. Now what we're doing is mounting the programmable thermostat to the back mounting plate, and then tightening up the screw, and finally clipping on the front cover plate. So now with the programmable thermostat fully installed, we'll go turn power back on to the oil burner and the thermostat itself. So we turned power back on to the oil burner and the thermostat, and we've programmed it to the temperatures we want throughout the day. All that's left is to touch up paint at the bottom underneath the thermostat, and this project's done. If you have any other home improvement questions, visit us at homeeditionplus.com today.